Welcome back to School of Cars Tennis. It is Challenge Tuesday number 69, the Soissons Nerf. Is oh, that right. Day. I don't know if that's even right. Uh, those who have been watching our social media very closely will notice that me and Will Greenwood, clang, <laughs> pick that up, man. Pick that one up. Did something <laughs> similar, but not quite the same as this. Anyway, somehow what I was helping you with the hands down. Yeah, and your nose ended up between his butt cheeks. Yes. Go back and watch that. It's worth anyway, a look. But. This week's challenge is the Stevenson chair. Now this came from, it's a, this is a central part of how I learned to handstand and how we now teach it about creating a stable foundation from which you can move to the next progression. And Dave blessed me with, with, with naming it after me, which I'm still super humbled by, Dave. One of many blessings. Thank you. So I'm going to talk you through it. Dave's going to give us a go, but the, so the challenge is how long can you hold the Stevenson chair is, but there's a, there's a little twist that's coming in a minute. So here we go, I'm going to run you through the steps of how to get into Stevenson chair and you can see how long you can hold it for. So there's two ways to do it. The first one is if you're, if you're working on your hand balance in practice, just go straight arm and use the feet to kick up into position. And what we're looking for is for Dave to get into an upside down seated chair shape so he can drop into that position there. Perfect. If you want to test yourself a little bit with your pushing strength or you've got that frog to handstand progression um, in the locker, Dave can show us that one. So go frog stand first and then press out. This is actually an easier progression if you've got the strength because you can create a great shape from a stable base. If you're really good, you get your mate to put the chair actually on you. There's proof in the pudding. Can you get the chair on? And a perfect example, oh, he's even got it back down. Now that is good, Dave. Oh, that there is you go, good. Jim, you might start calling this one the Jackson chair. Stop there, Dave. <laughs> uh, there's always one. Now what would be really impressive is that then I could then sit on there. <laughs> I've still got, I've still got, I'm coming down. I'm coming okay, down. so, that's, so let's, let's just say that's the A star. <laughs> if you want to see what the other, uh, I know I moved away, well I should. So, if uh, that's the A star, if you want to see what the other grades are, look in the description below. Um, and we look forward to seeing um, your attempts and how you get on. Comment below if you've got any questions or let us know how long you actually managed to do. If you haven't subscribed, click up there by Tim's head. If you haven't got a free beginner's guide, that's down there. And for last week's challenge, if you missed that, the 70 year old Graham, check that one up there. So until next week, class dismissed.